Hello, beautiful human beings. It's me, lovely Mari, your fave poet. You know the vibes. Why is my nose ring always crooked? Anyway, but I am here to make sure your day is marvelous, lovely, and spectacular because the only things that matter here are me, you, the arts, and the fact that none of the other shit matters anyway, so we might as well have fun. So let's get into this video. I'm really trying to get better with my camera angle. Okay, there we go. So hey y'all, today I wanted to come on here and do my makeup. So it's going to be a get ready with me slash um, community guidelines video. So y'all heard me talk about my new big girl job and it's an amazing place to be. We always have different discussions about um capacity community guidelines just excellent so that we uphold and just to make sure that everyone is comfortable um but this is my page so obviously it's my community guidelines and i wanted to talk about that and also do my makeup with y'all and today's makeup look is going to be euphoria inspired i'm going to do lexi's look for her play which is like a simple beat you know soft beat soft glam i like to call it a cheap beat so let me know if anyone has ever actually said that before because otherwise i'm claiming it now also ignore my nails because one on this side is red and this one's yeah listen i didn't like them i went to get them done on a whim at this random new place and I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have did that. I should have just went to my nail tech, but she wasn't going to be there on the day that I need to get my nails done. It's a whole other thing. But then I got mad, and then I tried to, like, fix them myself. So just ignore it. Just, it's not here. I don't even have nails. I don't, I don't even have hands today. So let's get into it. So this is my mess of a makeup box. I just wanted to reiterate the point of a cheat beat, which is taking all of this down to five easy steps, which include primer, eyes, contour, lips, and setting spray or powder. I'm also going to use my Juvia's Palace palette, and this is my brush bag. And I basically do this because I hate foundation, unless it's Fenty. Fenty sponsor me, by the way. Number one is primer. I use e.l.f. Coreless face primer and I'm pretty sure this is cheap like at any drugstore or whatever I don't know what is up with me and my car makes but any drugstore um or makeup store I'm pretty sure it's pretty cheap but you want to start out with primer um I like more of a matte look and I feel like this sets me up for that situation um but yeah so guideline number one is this is not a safe space um i used to be in a poetry club on my campus and we used to say that it was a safe space a brave space and a gray space and i kind of want to adapt the brave and gray space of it on my channel um because i feel like that is beneficial to growth um and beneficial to what i want to kind of the the essence and the aura of my page i feel like it can be a brave space and a great space and that i want y'all to ask questions i don't want y'all to feel like um if you are if you don't know about something or if you are ignorant of something that you can't ask questions but don't be purposefully ignorant because that's not cute like we don't we're not accepting that here um also, I have a Taurus moon and a Virgo stellium. I do not take kind to ignorance. I don't like it. So, don't expect to not have the clapbacks be clapped if need be. Because um, we're not doing that here. It's not a safe space. So, yeah. Also, if you've heard my poetry, you know that I don't really care to validate the opinions of most authority figures. People that don't love me or pay me. Um... But I want to cultivate a community here as long as we can have mutual respect for each other. You feel it? You feel it? We here? So next, we're going to go into eyes or brows and lids. Um, 
I try to keep it pretty simple. I feel like I have a very unconventional way of doing makeup. Like I just grab whatever. I'm like, this is gonna work today. Like this is this is the answer. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite brushes. It's I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know what this is called. Um maybe it's a brow brush. I don't know. Maybe you know. Let me know if you know. Um, but I use this one to go over my brows so y'all can tell or if you've been here you know that my eyebrows are lightened so i like to try to match them to my hair color um so i'm gonna do that and then we're gonna do our quick little shadow and our lexi eyeliner which is gonna be interesting so yeah um i'm gonna be using to do not this one I'll use this one. So it's my Juvia's Palace Warrior 2, which has a bunch of very great, my palette's a mess too, <laughs> but it has a bunch of great orange and orangey browns. Um, so yeah, so I usually just go in with this, this middle one here. Mm -hmm. It's Zama. But yeah, I start with that, and our second guideline, while we're going into our second makeup situation step, um, is I curse a lot. I say a lot of bad words. Um, my dad is basically a sailor. My mom also doesn't like it, but you're going to hear some bad words. You're going to hear a lot of, a lot of stuff um and feel free i work with young people and i don't um censor their language and why am i doing this with y'all i should be using my mirror um but they i let them know that i don't believe that they should censor their language um because to me language is expression obviously there are some areas where language as expression can be dangerous and volatile and harmful um but i i don't feel like cursing is one of those so like if you don't like curse words i'm sorry but you're gonna hear you're gonna hear a lot of them and feel free to let me know your thoughts on um cursing as expression or like bad words i don't feel like there are many bad words like slurs obviously but like i feel like slurs and curse words are different like i don't know i don't think that they should be classified the same um because to me they shouldn't have the same effect or they don't hold the same like curse words history is that they're bad language slurs history is that they have been harmful to people like whole groups of people is derogatory like i don't know i don't know i just feel like if no one's like blatantly calling me the n-word like if they're just throwing f-bombs at me i'm not that offended i don't know but let me know how you feel in the comments and i am going to because this takes me a while so i'm going to finish this one up with y'all and then do the other one. Just so y'all see how I do it. I kind of just go with the outline as much as I can because I don't have much brow to look at. Um, but we're gonna clean it up later on. But just so y'all see, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's like a almost match. I'll probably lighten it up a little bit, but we'll be back, we'll be back. Boom, we got two orange blobs on our face. They look much better closer up, but it's hard for me to get them even, but we're gonna clean it up to today. Um, we're really blaming my whole dad's side for me being a potty mask. Um, but yeah, you're gonna clean this. Well, you might change brushes. I don't like doing that. Um, so I just like wipe this one off. Get you a cotton pad and just like, and I like to, well, one, I normally use da, 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 NYX contour slash concealer. 
but I'm out. And I like to sometimes <clears throat> do my concert with powder because sometimes it's easier that way. I don't know. So I'm going in with my same Juvia's Palace palette and I'm going in with Yodits. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it says. Um, but it's a little bit lighter than my skin. So I'm going to use that to conceal my eyebrows. Um, but yeah, normally I feel like I can do this faster if I'm not talking. So we're still considering this a cheapie, y'all. Because it's, it's not going to take that long if you're not like yapping like me. Um... But yeah, I keep coming back to y'all to do this and I have my mirror. Um, but yeah, so you're just gonna go make a little line. I've been noticing this like thin, thinner brow thing. And I started to do it like subconsciously, like make my brows thinner. And I don't know if I like it because I feel like I have so much forehead. And I don't know, like, can the big girl, the big forehead girls participate? Because I don't know how to make it look cute with my bright hair and my big forehead and then, like, thin colored brows. I don't know. I try to stay in the middle, kind of, with my brows. Um, and then I also just blend it out when I'm contouring because it gives a good base for when I want to do my eyeshadow as well. Boom. So in the play, Lexi had some gold sparkly shit going on with her eyeballs. And I happen to love gold sparkly shit. I have a lot of gold sparkly shit in my makeup box. I'm stuck right now between my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, which is like, I don't know if you can. To me, this one is like probably a close dupe to um, Rihanna's gold. I think it's... I believe it's highlight. Uh, and then I also have a jelly one back. So I have this Jelly Much ColourPop shadow. And this one's called Give Give the Brute. And this one's called In Harmony. The first one I showed you was called In Harmony. And this one's called Give the Brute. And it's like a jelly consistency. I don't know if y'all can see it. But yeah, so I might go with this one um, rather than, hmm, I'm not, mm, I don't know. Let me look at Lexi's picture for you. Okay, so I'm going with the more powdery one because I think it will work best with the eyeliner. Okay, I lied. I'm going in with the Jelly Mud Shadow because it just does an extra thing. And I know that y'all can probably see the shimmer. But, trust me. The Jelly Shadow does a whole extra thing. You don't need that much. Ooh, I changed my brush. Look, look at that. All my brushes are like some sort of unicorn theme. I have these, and then I have these like, like glitter. I'm really just a giant child. I like very cute things. They make me excited. Oh yeah, I should have started off with this. Maybe this is more of an accurate dupe to Rihanna's um, highlight because I feel like this pigment child 
I'm gonna just clean it out with my finger. But also part of the cheat could be like not using a bunch of different brushes and just wiping one off. And with the jelly shadow, it's easiest to kind of sweep because it's a thick texture. So I kind of try to just sweep to the edge of my lid and then kind of blend it out with my finger. Yes, we are shining. Looking like Lexi already, okay? Now we're gonna do liner and then move on. We're gonna move on after that. Now this may be very tedious, but we're also kinda gonna wing it. Pun fully intended. I thought that was funny, but it's okay if you didn't think it was funny. Um but yeah. I'm just trying to get it, you know. If you do makeup, you know, like, the first kind of glob you get on there is very crucial. I'm going to try to start with, like, my normal wing and then build wings around that wing and see how that goes. You see it, you see it, you see the success, you see the outline. Period, period, period. Now I had to do the other one. So it is obviously, it is, it is nice now. Um, and this was very hard. They are not exactly equal, but it's, it's giving, it's giving. It's giving the vision. I am tired. I had a bunch of meetings, so I had to stop in the middle of doing this. And I just like felt like I couldn't get them to be even. But you know, everything is not perfect. I had fun. Okay, cool. We're going into step four. Step four is lips. Fenty, my fave, okay? The best red out there. Fenty, please, when you see this, let's, you know, DM me. Um, this is my favorite red ever. It literally does not move, shake. It is unbothered in the wind. It is amazing. Like, you could drink. You can do whatever. It's not going nowhere, okay? So, this is the red that I chose to match with Lexi's red. And... Get my mirror, because you can't mess it up, because it won't be able to get it off. Voila, so there you go. My camera is giving me problems, which I do not know why, but we live, we live, we got one more step. Um, but my fourth rule or my fourth, my fourth guideline is that this is just as well as it is a brave and gray space. It is also a gay and black space. We don't do no homophobia over here. We don't do no, no foolishness. And I just wanted to make that known and say it, state it um aside from and on top of um it being a brave space and a gray space um or a brave space and a gray space but not a safe space specifically it's not a safe space if you are homophobic or racist like we don't play those games here you will get kicked out like you you can't join the club you can't sit with us like it, it's dumb it's the delusion for me like get out 
so because my camera wanted to tweak i also left out um our fifth step is baking or setting whichever one you do i do a combination of both so what is on my eyelash um oh okay it's just the eyeliner um so i already started baking as you can kind of see i look a little bit more um and then i'm going to do setting spray that is our fifth and last step and our last rule or our last guideline is there are no rules basically um this is a space where you can expect a lot of rambling um we're going to talk about art dreams um we're going to talk about growth hair care um astrology yoga weed relationships um sex work um adulting and yeah if y'all with it i'm with it like drop what y'all want to hear or see from me um drop what kind of videos y'all like most if y'all want to hear me ramble if y'all want to hear me talk um or if y'all want to see more vlogs or like act me doing action things um commuting is always stressful for me so if y'all want to tag along with that vibe just let me know um but yeah so i'm gonna brush this powder off and sit with y'all so that i can decompress okay okay you see it you see it i have to turn the brightness down a little bit because it was giving like clown face um but look i'm finna setting spray nyx setting spray it's the matte finish okay And ta-da. Okay. So, I will say if I was doing regular eyeliner, this definitely wouldn't have taken as long and it would have been more of a cheat beat. However, the technique still stands and the guidelines still stands. And I thank y'all for coming on this journey with me. And I hope that y'all like what I did, even though they're not exactly even. There are four. There are four on each side. Okay. Okay. Y'all were here. Y'all saw me. Y'all saw it. Y'all were here for it. Okay. Even though my nails are not cute right now, y'all are in here. Y'all are y'all are in it for me, and I really appreciate that. You know, <laughs> don't need more. My camera hates me, but this is the finished look with my fuzzy Euphoria outfit on and my gloss. And I hope you all liked it. And thanks for coming on this journey with me.